It was previously mentioned that as we move through layers of experience, understanding, and belief, what if we are not really deprogramming? While it may seem apparent that anyone who leaves the New Age to switch to a different religion has only reprogrammed, we don't really understand how deep this goes. The truth seeker is just a lost soul operating in fear energy in the eyes of the New Ager. The New Ager is a moron afraid of the truth in the eyes of the truth seeker. With this, just another division between groups, neither one will ever listen to what the other one has to say. Since New Age answers seemed only half-truths, I jumped into the fear information. At first, these new rabbit holes of research and information seemed to provide far more earth-based truth than any etheric promises of spiritual or channeled information. However, as we will discuss more deeply, the fear energy information rabbit holes share the very same problems I encountered in the love energy information. We find that both the New Ager and the Truth Seeker are too afraid to look at the bigger picture around them, all in the need to be the holder of truth and the right hand of God. And so, we have a problem here. When I was entrenched in the New Age, I became obsessed with angel numbers, as described by then-leading angel lady Doreen Virtue. And Doreen was not the only New Age guru pushing numbers as proof of God or angels. This interest led to studying numerology. Continued study and observation, combined with the fact that Doreen's angel number information was becoming an infinite rabbit hole, began to unravel angel number information for me. To add to my confusion, information on Gematria led to an entirely different rabbit hole of numbers found around us. Since the details of Gematria coding seemed to be playing out around me, I found myself quickly entering other rabbit holes of secret society symbolism. There is much discussion on how we are controlled by the highest levels of secret societies and that their stamps are all around us. We won't delve into this topic here, as it is so heavily discussed elsewhere. But for anyone unfamiliar with such discussions, on how the symbolism is hidden in plain sight all around us, as but one example of this, I give you the owl. Without repeating any of researcher and blog writer Richard Kahlberg's own examples in his blog posts on this symbol. I reference Kahlberg here over other researchers simply because I appreciated his kind and comical writing style. I read books and blogs by many different authors writing from varying viewpoints, whether the claim was that it proves the work of the devil and demons, the work of aliens, the work of entities in various realms, or the work of man. What is important to note here is that once I stepped into such research, I saw it everywhere. In this video, I will briefly share a few important examples of what happens in said rabbit holes in order to explain a bigger picture. On top of finding signs and symbols in all the places where these researchers told me I would find them, I found these same images and numbers presented in daily television and in movies, which were never given as examples by these same researchers. I believed I was finding additional examples that proved their arguments. I began documenting these occurrences with either photographs or written notes. There are many more examples than I am providing here.
Once I saw the number of owls in my face that had gone previously unnoticed, I began seeing that some shows had owls as recurring symbolism throughout the series. Recurring images or numbers could launch any researcher deeper into any of these specific shows or movies, looking into those behind the making of these programs or the actors and actresses featured in them, and whether or not they are part of these secret societies. And even though I chose not to begin looking into specific individuals, because I had neither the time nor interest to delve so deeply here, I still fell deeper down this hole. At this time in my personal study, it seemed that I was so correct in my line of thinking that not only was I finding proof in additional formats, but I began seeing other repeating symbols that no one had previously discussed. I started documenting these findings as well. Black and white checkered symbolism has already been heavily discussed by others, but I began to notice that a dragon, serpent, or snake was often tied in with this, whether in the same scene or not. This in itself has not been discussed as far as I am aware. These are the photos I have. The image of hands or of applause has been seen by various energy workers, often as proof that the angels or Reiki guides are proud of them and their spiritual work. In fact, in one of my own readings through my angelically connected Atlantean brother, I asked if I was on the right track. He replied that the angels were applauding me. I had not read any alternative researchers' information on the image of hands, but perhaps because I was already overly sensitive to this, I began seeing this recurring image while looking for owls and other symbols.
outside of New Age concern and consideration, I had two different theories on this image. The troubling part was it seemed I could prove either argument if I went deep enough, which only caused more turmoil over what is the real truth in this situation. Then came my biggest personal obsession. It was the number 55. I saw this number too often to continue to believe I was witnessing angel numbers or master vibrations. It is the 55 that pulled me in the deepest in regard to the repeating numbers and images around us. Just like with the pictorial symbolism, 55 and 555 could also be found as the recurring number used either in the script or in the background of various shows. Just like with every other symbol, I began seeing that some shows had 55 as recurring symbolism throughout the series.
like hands or applause, 55 and 555 are numbers that are mentioned in New Age information as proof of the work of God or angels, healing powers, or evolved spirituality. Fifty-five and five-five-five are also mentioned when the argument surrounds groups of men who control every faction of our lives. And it is here where we could choose sides in the belief that there is only love or fear. But in choosing a side, we stop. We settle. I kept going in the search for that absolute truth. In so doing, I came upon many side doors or offshoots. Just like the numbers themselves may be featured in the scene or script of entertainment or in news stories and headlines, 55 and 555 are hidden in other ways, such as the gematria of the phrases within scripts or songs. The letters E and V both equate to 5. Used together, we have more 55s. Fifty-five and five-five-five are entangled with 22 and 222. Two, two. The New Age mind thinks Master Builder and affirms that they are taking positive action to create change and to build God's loving world and or that they are making it possible for God and the angels to build this around us. The truth seeker believes that something negative or harmful is being built around us by groups of people, not angels and even proven through the headlines of current events. In my own observations, I saw 22 and 222 in current events around me even without running gematria on words and phrases. Stranger still, I saw 55 entangled with 22 outside of either the New Agers or Truth Seekers argument. Returning to Hubbard's examples, 222 leads us to 2022 and the Year of the Tiger, Therefore, this image would be heavily represented as we moved toward it. In looking for myself, then, I started to find it. At this point in a trip through any rabbit hole, there are new concerns and considerations. Have I gone so deeply I am discovering the absolute truth of 55? Or have I just allowed myself to get pushed far enough along some tangent that I am now, in fact, obliviously exiting the rabbit hole of 55? In addition to the angels versus man debate, I found information about 55 and 555 that seemed to implode on itself, just as I had found many contradictions in angel or Reiki information. And while Metatron is presented as a positive archangel, Metatronic energies might not fit under the positive label.
I could argue that there are hidden messages to prove the significance of such numbers, if I wanted to, but I was still left without actual resolution to whether the 55 is beneficial or not. In the West Penray Papers, where conversation surrounds the theory that God and the devil are aliens, there is this phrase within a Thuban story or explanation in Level 3. The umbrella argument of every truth seeker or New Age teacher is that whatever or whoever is hindering or manipulating us is doing so because the wrong God, gods, or guides are being served. Does this prove that? And so we return to Zachary Hubbard. In English ordinal order, both Satan and heaven do equate to 55. The problem is, there's more to it than that. 55 also equates to God. And for me personally, this is very problematic when we are all arguing over the truth of God and this existence. I saw and heard more 55s than any other symbol, all while my husband, who was completely unconcerned with my personal experience and spiritual quest, couldn't see or hear a single one, no matter how many of them I pointed out. My daughter, on the other hand, also unconcerned with my personal experience and spiritual quest, could see them along with me so well that she could find 55's I missed. But there were so damn many that even without the political or spiritual concern to seek them out, they were berating her. She was becoming rather exhausted with it, and so was I. I was losing my mind with no one at all to help me through it. The more I studied and tried to learn the truth, the further away from it I felt. What is really going on here? I had always thought it puzzling that Wilcock compared his early research years to yet another addiction since he profits today as a holder of spiritual truth. The word addiction has negative connotation. At the time I read this, I didn't understand how searching for truth could be a negative effort. But later, in the madness of my own data collection addiction, 55 became my obsession. I started driving myself and my daughter so insane by attempting to document everything that I knew I needed to stop. And for my daughter's sake, over any other reason, I chose rehab. I left these alternative research rabbit holes, just as I had left God's work and the guidance of angels. The 55s and other symbols continued to show themselves with increased frequency, but I refused to continue to document them. And that is when my observations grew stranger still.